morning thank you very much for joining me this is a new video for me <laughs> it is a tesco grocery haul and i've been asked to do it by a couple of people if i would do a shopping haul and i thought because i'm not a fan of grocery hauls watching them myself i thought i would add into it a menu plan for the week show you what the shopping what what i've bought um and then do a cook along with tonight's dinner um at the end of it just to make it a little bit more interesting so tesco shopping has just arrived the delivery has just arrived it is monday the 30th of march and um, i was lucky enough to get a delivery slot I, I tend to get my shopping every monday anyway and i book my slots a few weeks in advance so i had this slot and also next week's already booked nothing after that but um I was very grateful for that this morning. Um, one thing I would say about shopping online, if you do it, or if you're lucky enough to get a slot, um, don't do it until the last minute, because I stuck, mine was delivered this morning between eight and nine, this is Monday. Um, I did the majority of it on Saturday, and when I went back to add a few things into the basket on Sunday, a lot of what I'd added on Saturday was out of stock, so things are going in and out of stock really quickly, so that would be my top tip for online shopping do it at the last minute then you're more likely to get what you ordered i only had three substitutions this morning out of about 80 items so that's pretty good i um, not complaining about that at all um i've also got a little bit of shopping for my mother-in-law um that she wanted um and yes let's get into the menu plan then so this is our menu plan for the week i how this is a um little magnetic board that I keep on the side of the fridge and last night well, I start from Sunday generally because I do the menu plan on a Saturday and last night we had a roast mid dinner um tonight is pork pad thai which I am cooking which is a recipe that I cook not often but once every few months um that everybody enjoys um which I will do a cook along with you tonight um tomorrow night Tuesday is a tuna pasta bake we generally do tuna with them um, mushrooms onions peppers tuna and a tin of tomatoes some herbs um, a little bit of chili maybe um baked with pasta and then melted cheese on the top wednesday is will's famous chicken kebabs he cooks this a lot at uni um he makes his own pita breads to go with it it's sort of a greek thing with them um, yogurt and tomato and red onion and stuff so he's cooking on wednesday thursday i'm going to do a shepherd's pie with um i've got the minced beef in the freezer already so i've just got the extras to go with that um friday night we're going to have a takeaway we've decided this is a thing that we would like to do on a friday night as long as we can do as long as the takeaways are still delivering and um, it just makes it feel a little bit more like the weekend and then on saturday night we've got steak which we've already got in the freezer that will be with chips which we've already got in the freezer and asparagus which we've already got in the freezer blanched because we had some leftover asparagus last time we had steak and um, rather than leave it in the fridge to go off we blanched it and popped it in the freezer Right, so that's the menu plan. Let me come and show you the shopping. I'm hoping this isn't gonna come out too dark. I've got the blind down because the sun comes right in here in the morning. So um, yeah, let's get into the shopping. Anyway, it looks as though it's not gonna be too dark. Some Fever Tree Indian Tonic Water, the light version. Um, I couldn't get Schweppes, which I normally get. So I got this one. Ginger beers, which are for Ashley, he likes those. Um, and some Coke Zero, 12 cans of Coke Zero. I usually buy the 24s, but couldn't get the 24s, so I got 12. Um, William and I both drink Coke Zero, one a day, that's all. Um, a lemon squash, double strength lemon squash. Um, two loaves of Kingsmill 50-50 bread. Um, that's the half white, half whole grain. Um, one for now, one for in the freezer. Then we've got a six pack of Walker salt and vinegar crisps, some club mint biscuits, and a six pack of Red Leicester mini cheddars. I haven't had these Red Leicester ones before and I heard someone on YouTube saying how nice they were. So I thought I'd give them a go. Um, this I've just picked up at the parcel shop when I went there because I ordered double cream. So we the other one. I ordered double cream and they sell, sent Elmley. This was one of my substitutions. This is okay, but it's no good for cooking because it splits really, really easily. Um, so um, for, for, in my experience, Nashley's experience anyway, perhaps someone else has cooked perfectly adequately with this, but we've tried it and it does split. So um, 
that will be fine for with strawberries which I've got over there which you'll see in a minute but I've got a normal double cream for cooking um, from at the parcel shop just now three bananas William eats bananas um, but not every day so I didn't want to get I had to throw one away last week because they went off it went off um, so I just got him three this week and they've sent nice underripe ones which is good some coriander that is for tonight's um, pork pad thai I'm going to plant some coriander seeds so I don't have to be buying fresh herbs very soon I think we've got some downstairs bought myself a puzzler magazine because I thought that might, that might be quite entertaining <laughs> <laughs> that, they only charge me two ninety nine for it, but it says three fifty on there, so that's weird. Haven't had a puzzle magazine for years, but hey, thought that would be fun. Um, mixed peppers. These will go into the tuna pasta bake that I'm doing, and um, I, put, put, I might even put a little bit in the pork pad thai actually, if I've got some. Three limes, one of those is for the pork pad thai, the other two are for my margarita cocktails because, and you were only allowed a maximum of three of everything, so I was only, they didn't have the um, nets of limes, so I was only allowed three limes, but hey, that's better than no limes, I'm not complaining. A big garlic, um, some crumpets, which I'll probably pop in the freezer, two cans of coconut milk just for the store cupboard because I used one up last week, and um, just tend to always keep that in um, a thing of tomatoes that's to go with Will's um, what's it chicken kebab on Wednesday um, medium wok noodle medium straight to wok noodles these are for tonight's dinner the pork pad thai red onions um, for Will's dinner and I got another one I can't remember what for oh, in case I wanted to make a Greek salad that was my thinking with that for lunch one day um normal brown onions these last for ages so they're always useful to have in and i need one for the shepherd's pie and i'm sure there was something else i was going to need one for but i can't think what it was so maybe some um fried onions to go with the steak on saturday night a big thing of carrots we get through a lot of carrots in this house um, they will go into the shepherd's pie oh sorry bad light and um, they will go into the shepherd's pie and also have some with the shepherd's pie Potatoes are a bit of a problem at the moment. I could either get three single baking potatoes or two big packs of these. Um, because of the limit of three items, they haven't got it sorted out perfectly on the website, so it's a bit difficult. But these would not be my first choice of potatoes. But um, this was what I could get, so that will do. Need it for the mashed potato, for the top of the pie, and for various other things we get through a lot of potatoes. I'll probably make a potato salad for um, going with a egg mayonnaise salad or something for lunch during the week. And also I'm going to do a big pot of that leek bacon and potato soup that I showed you last week. Williams asked me for another big pot of that for lunches. Um, 16 slices of honey roast ham. Um, that William eats a lot of um, ham and cheese sandwiches for lunch so um, that's for that. Some strawberries just so we don't all get scurvy to go with cream for dessert one evening. Um, some cheese, we eat a lot of cheese in this house. Some jalapeno and red pepper hummus which I quite like. I think I showed you in a video last week. I like hummus spread on a wrap with some um, kale. Let me just open this blind now. I think I'm out of the sunny area so you can see a bit better. Um, so yeah there's that then we've got mushrooms that's for the tuna bake I've got a dozen eggs because the eggs haven't been that easy to get hold of and eggs last for ages I don't tend to take any notice of the sell by date on eggs because I've never found one that's gone off yet so um, yeah I've got a dozen eggs there and some pork mince that is for tonight's pork pad thai some streaky bacon this is to go into my potato leek and bacon soup and the rest of it I will freeze and then some normal bacon for uh, bacon sandwiches or bacon and egg one morning for breakfast at the weekend or something. Um, a leek. I'm sure I ordered two leeks, but I got one leek, but that's okay. Um, it's quite a big one, so I'll just have to make do with that. Um, what else? A salted butter. Um, oh, that's for Ashley's mother. I'll show you Ashley's mother's um, essentials in a minute a four pint of full fat milk ashley and william like that with their cereal in the morning for breakfast and a four pint of semi-skimmed milk i drink semi-skimmed milk in coffee and tea 
and so does Will and he gets through quite a lot of coffee until he makes iced coffees with sort of almost like a latte with lots of milk so we do get through quite a lot of milk when he's home um, Greek style yogurt that is for William's chicken kebab on Wednesday and then we will whiz over here with Ashley's mother's stalk <laughs> This is an eclectic selection of central lockdown items as ordered by my mother-in-law. There, I won't bore you with the detail, but so some interesting choices, I thought. Um, a four pack of, this is back to mine again, of peeled plum tomatoes. I couldn't get chopped tomatoes at all. So these will do, They can you can either just break them down with a wooden spoon into whatever you put them in, or you can, um, blend them a little in the blender just to chop the big tomatoes up so that they work just as well. Big head of broccoli, we all like broccoli, and some black kale, um, just as another separate vegetable to have really. Um, I will also like this in the air fryer as you know. And that is it, apart from one little thing which I will just show you, which the person who this is for will know. It's going in the post to you because I didn't want you to have to have your fish fingers without tartar sauce. So I'll pop it in the post next time I go out, which will be Thursday. Um, right, that is it for my shopping haul. Um, and I'll be back with you this evening to do a cook along with my pork pad thai. Right, this evening's dinner is spicy pork pad thai, which is a recipe that I got from, I think it was a website called Budget Bites originally. Um, because it's all um, priced out there in dollars. I'm sure it's that. It's either that one or Skinny Taste. I can't remember anyway. But um, it's a nice recipe. So I've got everything out. I'll just go through what I need with you. Um, it's one onion. It says one pepper in the recipe. But I'm using one and a half just to bulk it out a bit. Because I haven't got quite as many noodles as I would like. This is a two person portion. And there's three of us obviously. Two eggs. A lime pack of coriander, some pork mince, 500 grams of pork mince. This is two garlic cloves minced. Then we've got some oyster sauce, some fish sauce, some sriracha and some more lime juice. We start off by making the sauce, which is one tablespoon of sriracha, one tablespoon of fish sauce, a quarter of a cup of oyster sauce and three to four tablespoons of lime, basically the juice of one lime. Um, so I've mixed all that together and that goes in towards the end of the cooking. This is a nice quick and easy one to cook so I've prepped all my vegetables and everything in advance and it's probably only 10-15 minutes to cook so I'm going to start with a little bit of oil in a pan and I'm going to warm that on a fairly high heat. I'm using the biggest ring on Sorry, the biggest ring on my gas. Um, and I'm going to put into there the garlic and the pork and stir fry that fairly quickly so the pork goes um, sort of fairly crunchy on the outside. Right, so my pork's doing nicely. It's um, cheap pork. It was the only pork mince I could get. And it does have a lot of water in it. So the way to combat this, I always think, is to have it on the highest heat you can. And that will get rid of the water. Um, just it will just evaporate off at the high heat but do keep turning it around the pan because um, obviously it, you don't want it to stick. Right all the water is off those um, and we're just starting to get, I don't know how well you can see that without me steaming you up, some crunchy brown bits on the edge of the pork. Now we're going to move the pork to the outside of the pan and go to tip in two eggs which I've just lightly whisked together and then whisk that so the, the eggs effectively scramble in the pan. Okay next we add the thinly sliced onion and pepper and we keep stirring for three to five minutes just to soften this. Right this is the finished product we've added the sauce in and the noodles and Ashley has stir fried it for me because it was all very frantic at the end um, and we're just going to plate up now. And here it is served up. It smells really tasty and yummy. So we're just serving it with a lime wedge and some chopped coriander on the top. Ashley's I've got just taken. <laughs> Ashley's taken his. Well, he's already eating his because he doesn't like coriander on the top. And I'm now going to go and eat mine.